Winter sucks. Our water line split at the sink. Oh, he's big. Deliver something for Jess. I have a surprise. Something showed up this afternoon. Good Monday morning. Uh, all weekend we have literally been digging ourselves out of snow. Here lies the site of some major digging because Lauren's little car got buried. Oh my gosh. You see? I can see it. You see light? Yeah. Oh, she is a banker. I'll go for this side. That's gonna be cold. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Lauren, you got holes in your pants. I know. Winning. So if you had Carhartt leggings, <laughs> you'd be loving your life. <laughs> Winter sucks. See ya. Yeah, we're just, we're right there. We're so close, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's right there. I just don't want to be tearing out your, that's where it is right there. How you feel about that, Lauren? <laughs> no comment. No comment. She's yeah. She had knees in her pants right now. Yeah. Uh, do we want to try again? <laughs> nice. Kenji hits the dog. You did it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The barn was completely buried on both sides, uh, well up the curtains, and I was freaking out yesterday a little bit, and uh, I went on Insta Story, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I have a conundrum. I've been trying to shovel the snow off there. Uh, I started there, then I got to there. I can't do it. And it's double as bad on the other side. And I know if I don't do it, and we're calling for rain, my, that's all gonna be inside my barn. Like it was up to my waist, I couldn't, I couldn't move it. I couldn't even walk beside the, the barn, it's starting to rain now. So my neighbor Jeff came over and snow, like he brought a snow blower and he cleaned out all the way around the barn and now it's raining. So if he hadn't done that, it would not have been good. So I'm gonna check out the barn and see what we're in for. I'm hoping it didn't flood. What a sweetie, I can see it already. Oh, thank you, Jeff. So that's amazing. He took the blower and he got as close as he could, which is nice because the snow was way up there and I just couldn't move it. I'm gonna see what the other side looks like. Oh, so nice. So this is what we're dealing with. <laughs> so Jeff came and blew a path for me at least, but now I'm wondering if he, he shoveled this out because I'm not really sure how that that, all that snow was up there. Well, you can see it on the door there, how much snow there was. So feeling, feeling a little bit awful if he did that and very, very grateful that he did that. Okay, what are we in for in here, Kinsey? Not bad, this side. You guys, that snow was like literally up to there yesterday. So good. I am so happy. I was so stressed out yesterday. 
I can't believe it. I was gonna, I came out early to actually shovel it all off, but there's nothing there. So I'm on my own today because Jess has in class today for co-op. I'm going to do chores and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some weights off those lambs we weaned on Saturday with Lauren and Jess. And then I'm gonna go to the office and go over the numbers and see, just see how everything did. Because I'm pretty proud of that group, but I'm wondering if the numbers will show me that I shouldn't be proud of that group. Uh, sometimes even the ones that feel really good, that you, you, you kind of go over the data and you're like, oh, I thought that was better. I thought that should have been better than it was. The other thing that I'm praying happens today is my telehandler comes home. I need it so bad, I have to clean out this barn. All right, now we're off to, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some weights on those wiener lambs. And I will, I might just run in and see if Lauren can help me do that. So um, I just opened the door and our water line split at the sink. So everything's flooded in here. But I think I must've just caught it in time, Lauren. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So I don't know if I can get that drain. There is a hole there. I could just maybe try to lift that drain out. I don't know. Or just scoop it into the cesspool of a silo pit. Fun. Happy Monday. Aren't you glad you aren't you glad you're here? Super excited. Yay! Hello. Uh, uh, Billy. Come say hi. Come say hi. Uh, come on. Yeah, it's a boy. Yeah, it's a boy. Who's a puppy? Who's the puppy? Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hello. Hi. Oh, your sister's, sister's jealous. Oh, she didn't want to stick around. Hi, sweetie. Come get pets. Hi, baby. You nice now, too? All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a gate across there. We're going to run them up the alley. And I'll set up my handling system here, run them through, and then put them back in their pen. Just want to get a weaning weight off them today. Pop off? Yeah, they just kind of. I got the one knot. Oh, cool. There's more knots. There's lots of knots. If you have a knife handy. I do. Okay. So what you want to do is you, they're gonna. I'm gonna chase them into here. You're gonna scan their ear with this gun. Yep. So you just press the trigger on their yellow tag on their ear. Get as close as there as you can because this is not all that sensitive. So you need to be, and you have to kind of, even if you can kind of hover this part of it. Mm -hmm. over kind of over the tag and not like just pointing at the tag you kind of got to hover over the tag kind of like one of those grocery store yeah. scanners you go over top you don't like go you know read my stuff um, and then it'll come up here and once it it'll say it'll say animal identified and weight whatever it'll say weight accepted or whatever mm -hmm. it is um, and then on the corner it'll say okay and then I'll open the door from behind right there Mm -hmm. And then this will open and they'll go right in there. So you just have to keep making sure they go. So you're the scanner. Can you do that? I can do that. Okay. Come on. Alright. You want her? Alright. Got it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you, next. Don't be shy. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a boy. Come on, baby. Oh, he's big. There you go. So Billy's 70 and a half pounds. He's a twin. He's gained 0.9. That's a really good gain. Billy's a big kid. Billy's a big kid. Good boy. Okay, bye bye. Okay, everyone out. I know your friends. The man of the hour. So we'll see if anybody beats Billy. So this is a bottle baby. I know it's the one, the mom. His mom died of uh, retained placenta, and it was with a foster baby, and it did really good did too. Really well. Good baby. Good job. Bye. Bye. Well, we got a new leader for our leaderboard. Seventy-seven point five. What's the? Uh, why don't? I don't know what's going on with my Gallagher because it's not showing me that I weighed it on the first day, and I would have. December 19th. It was one of the earliest ones. I know, but I would have. Anyway. All right, bye. You're big. I thought this was Billy's sister, but it's not. It's the one that was a quad. So it was a quad. Oh, it's a he, not a she. Ram, and it's 72. And it gained 0.97 a day, which is awesome. I wonder, I don't even know how many I left on mom, so this will be an interesting one to see. See how Mr. Pop Mr. Popcorn did. He was 64 and a half, 0.74. Okay, where you go, Popcorn? Come on. Hi, baby. Every time. So yeah, so these are all weighed up and we will go to the office and just see how, how they did. Um, I'm gonna guess they did pretty good. I know Billy the kid was over 70 and we had a few over 70 pounds, so that was really exciting. I haven't had that in a while. Um, but yeah, there's a few little ones. Hi guys. But overall, I think, I think they're gonna do all right. A little bit of an oops, not a not a big oops, but one that uh, requires a little more work on my computer. What had happened is uh, I was almost done lambing, and so there was about a three day stretch when I didn't have my scanning gun. It ran out of uh, the the charger broke on it, so I had to get it repaired. And in the meantime, they gave me a replacement gun, but I didn't get it, and I had to enter a whole bunch of stuff in manually without scanning the tags. And this Gallagher, um, I think when I did it by hand, I was so tired. I I this is why I use the scanner and not not do stuff by hand because I had so many numerical errors in those codes because it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, it's a 15 digit um, RFID code and I messed up like so many numbers that when I went to scan it, it thought today when I did this, the weaning weights, it thought it was a brand new lamb and they're not. I'm cursing technology today big time but I think we figured it out. Me and Melissa from Brussels figured it out. So that is what I'm going to do for the next few hours.
this part's gonna be boring, but if you're a numbers person and you've been asking me for numbers on how this lambing group did, then bear with me and I'll try to edit as good as I can with this stuff. Total number of lambs at birth were 288 lambs out of 116 ewes, which was 2.18 lambs per ewe. A lot of you asked me how many ewe lambs versus how many ram lambs I had. I had 132 ewe lambs, 146 ram lambs, looking like a few more rams than ewes. Oh, and then I'll go over how many I had. So I had seven sets of quads, one set of quints, 26 singles, 33 triplets, and 65 twins. And what everyone wants to know is the bottle babies versus babies you leave on mom. So there's a few that have popped out. Uh, I have a few written down and then I'll just go through my list here quick. Um, so I had a set of quads, two I took off and put on the machine, and two I left with mom. The two that I put on the machine, one was 52 pounds, the other one was only 25 and I think that one that was 25 has joint ill it's like the worst one in my pen the two that were left with mom were 50 and 56 so probably a good thing that I took the two off because the two I left with mom did really really well there was a set of triplets uh, two I left on mom and one I pulled off the two I left on mom were only 47 and 44 and a half and the one I put on the machine was 52.5 so uh, again, good decision to do that. There was a mom with mastitis, so she only had one working teat. Well, actually, I think she had two working teats, but one had mastitis and I had to treat her. Uh, the one I left with mom only gained 40, only was at 44 pounds at wean, and the two I had on the machine were 57 and 51. So definitely the right choice to put those on. And then I'll go through a few here that I just was like, why am I writing these down when I can just tell you guys and edit as I go. Uh, there was a set of triplets here. I left two on mum and pulled one off. Uh, the two I left on mum were 43 and a half and the one I pulled off was 45. So neck and neck. I have a set of quads, two I pulled off, two I left on. The two I pulled off were 42 and 46 and the two I left on were 41 and 49.5. So um, they're not a whole lot different. There's triplets here. Two I left on mom were 57 and 58.5 and the one I pulled off was 47. So the ones left on mom did really well. Here's another set of quads. I pulled two off, left two on. The one ended up dying, so I should have pulled it off, I guess, too. The two I pulled off on the machine did 40 and a half and 50 and a half. And the one I left on, the one that lived, was 57 and a half. So yeah, they were all very, um, the machine did really well. I would say definitely worth having. I don't really have anything that sticks out huge. So now what I'll do is uh, just do some weaning weight data for you guys and let you know what that looked like. We interrupt this uh, lambing, boring lambing information to deliver something for Jess. So uh, let's go surprise her. It's a big envelope. It's a thin envelope, so we'll see. Jess? Come here. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> How did you know? I kind of figured by the way you said that. Oh, that just feels a lot thinner. Okay, let's see. Okay, sit down with Lauren. <laughs> first day too, this is the first day. No. It came, it was in the mail, so it might have been from Friday. I just didn't check. Congratulations, you're pleased to offer you <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Egg Culture. Yay! Congrats, honey. I'm so proud of you. We tried to film this before, and Jess got into her second choice first and it was a really sad day, so I did not share that with you guys. So this was her, we waited a few weeks for this one, and in the meantime, so this is her number one, she wanted to get into science really, really bad, and she got to sit on it for a few weeks and decided that she wants her number two and not her number one. Is that gonna be your decision? I'm just glad you got on it, because you worked really hard for this one, and yeah. I was afraid that you would lose your confidence. I wonder so. what Mark, I need to keep this one.
I know she didn't seem excited, but I tell you, that was one really sad girl a couple weeks ago. So this was really good news, just for the fact that she now has a choice. And I also wanted it for her confidence because Jess is a whole lot like me. She has to work really, really, really hard when it comes to school. And she did, and then when she didn't get into science, which is what she really wanted, um, it shattered her. And uh, so I was really happy to see that letter come in today. Uh, I guess they come in separate because they're different faculties, I'm assuming. So number two was she, she tried for agriculture business and I guess she just sat with it for a bit and she's taking chemistry and biology this semester and she's not loving chemistry, which happened to me uh, about the same time when I was in high school. So um, I'm just, I'm over the moon happy and proud of her. So she's worked really hard for it. Now I have to deal with um, empty nest syndrome, which I'm going to avoid thinking about for now and just relish in the fact that she got in. Okay, the moment I've been dreading, but I'm so excited. I wean them over three days. So the first one, I had 54 lambs wean at 53.9 pounds average. The second group, I weaned um, 123 lambs and they were 50.2 pounds average. And the third group, which was uh, Saturday, there was 65 lambs in that group and they averaged 52.9 pounds. And some of them are actually not even quite eight weeks old. I think some of them were only seven weeks old. So um, I wean at eight weeks. Uh, so they all reached eight weeks at a little bit different times, obviously. So that's how I s separated the pens. This group is probably the best I've ever weaned. So it's looking like 2.09 lambs were weaned per ewe. That's huge for me, you guys. I just don't get results like that. So, and, and those real nice, even uh, weaning weights too means, you know, I, they, I got them separated nicely. They grew nicely. I was paying attention, I guess. And maybe the weather, let's face it, the weather was pretty good for these guys. So uh, very, very happy with this group. And I had a feeling in my gut that it was good and the lambs looked really good. Um, I do have that one lamb, bottle lamb that had joint ill that was like 25 pounds. The rest, you know, there was a lot over the scale today. There was three or four over 70 pounds today. Uh, Billy the Kid being one of them. I still got a ton of improvements to do, but uh, for being the first group of 2020, uh, I couldn't ask for kind of a better start. I have a surprise! Something showed up this afternoon. Look who's home! My baby! Look at a new window. No more duct tape. A new window. Oh no, he put... Oh good, he put Plexi there again. Oh, well, that's smart. Uh, cause we tend to do some damage. She's a brand new machine and I have a lot of work to do. I need to clean this whole entire barn out. So I'm going to try my best to get started tomorrow. I have to get a bunch of stuff done on a short timeline and I will explain that a little bit later this week. Love my podcast. Uh.